Inside of our source folder, let's make a new folder named models and a new folder inside of the models folder named shopping dash item. Inside of the shopping dash item folder, we can make a file named shopping dash item dot interface dot ts. Inside of this file, we can define what a shopping item looks like. In this instance, it's quite simple because it only has two fields. So at this point in time, you may think it's not necessary, but as we start making more complex applications, it's always good to have a model. So let's export an interface named shopping item. We can first start with an item name of type string and an item number of type number. Now that we've created an interface, we can head back to our add shopping.ts. Inside of this page, we can initialize a new shopping item by saying shopping item is equal to a new JavaScript object. And we're going to tell TypeScript that actually we know a little bit more about this JavaScript object. So we can say this is a new object as and then we can cast this to a shopping item. So in order to use the shopping item, we can import that from our models folder and then pass it to our shopping item dot interface. Because we've done that, we can head over to our add shopping dot HTML and we can add an ng model on our ion input, which allows us to capture the input from this field. And we can say that the first one, the item name is equal to shopping item dot item name. And the second field can have an ng model once again, but instead of the item name, we can use item number. This allows us to capture the inputs of both the item name and the item number. Therefore, we can add a click event to the button and that can point at a function named add shopping item. Let's pass through the shopping item as a parameter and inside of our components, I'm going to remove the ion view data load for now, just to keep things nice and clean. In here, we can write the add shopping item function we can say that this expects a shopping item of type shopping item. And all I want to do at this point in time is simply log out the results by saying console.log shopping item. So in here, what we're doing is creating a new object. Inside of our view, we're using ng model to assign the value of whatever the user puts in into that shopping item object. And then for now, all I want to do is log the results out to the console. So let's start off by right clicking and hitting inspect. And if we navigate to our JavaScript console by hitting the console and then inside of our ad shopping page, we can add something to the item list. For example, pizza, and we want five pizzas. If we click add item, you can see that we now get this object here inside of the console that contains the item name and the item number. The item number in the circumstance is actually a string. So when it comes to adding it to Firebase, we'll look at how we can cast that to a number. So at this point in time, we have the ability now to capture an input from our form and we're simply logging it out to the console. Let's now look at how we can commit this data to our Firebase database.